My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note taking and planning technique. I've been helping people to manage knowledge and information more effectively for the past 20 years. So I've posed a sort of, I guess it's a bit of a bland question. Who should take notes? Well, the answer is everyone. And I explain why. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone from the graduate to the CEO to the board. Because if they don't, it's a risk. And the more senior you are, the more of a risk you are to yourself, the people around you, the people you're responsible for, and your organisation. And that's quite a strong statement to make, but I'll tell you why. Let me switch the language a bit. So who should take notes? Don't know, a bit boring. Junior people probably, maybe the graduate. So who should manage knowledge? Now that changes everything. Because if you try and manage knowledge without taking, taking notes, you've got to do it in your head. Now the human brain, whether you have a photographic memory or you went to the top business schools, top universities, you're amazing at what you do. Regardless of all of that, we all have a human brain. The human brain is really fallible. It has a limited storage capacity, which is called short-term memory. They say it's seven plus or minus two chunks of information. So think nine action points. How many can you easily remember? But more importantly, or as important, there's something called cognitive load. So if you're paying attention to someone, how easy is it to remember a question or an idea? And if you try and remember the question and idea, how easy is it to really pay attention and listen? And if that idea or question drops, that could be crucial. And remember the ability to make decisions and take actions and to communicate information to others. If you get it wrong, the risk from a, even just from a financial point of view could be in the hundreds of thousands or the millions. So I'm going to show you a really effective way of reducing that risk and showing you a way of not just taking notes, but managing knowledge real time in a way that will give you an immediate competitive edge over the people around you who are just listening or taking traditional, what I call traditional previous generation notes or using a laptop. Because laptop users, although they're using modern technology, the modern technology has locked into it previous generation note taking, which is 2000 years old, hasn't changed one jot, and it's basically record now, use later. So I come from a position where I used to take a lot of notes. Um, I'm highly analytical and I'd be going to lots of complex meetings. Uh, there'd be large volumes of information. So I'd take a lot of notes. Problem is I hated taking notes. It was boring. Um, and at some point I'd probably actually get behind. I'd lose an understanding of what people are saying. So then I'd revert to listening. Or if I stuck with note taking, I ended up with pages. But more often than not, I'd revert to listening, but straight away I'm going to be limited by my short term memory. So the way to transform it and to, wait, to make note taking valuable for everyone in the organization, from the graduate to the board, is to switch from previous generation note taking to next generation note taking. And the difference is previous generation, you're recording information, next generation, note taking, you're recording knowledge where you have a really high real time understanding and you can use it real time. Uh, sorry, you can use it real time. And I'm going to show you how it works. And there are four key elements. Now, to make this switch as a next generation note taker, there are two key percentages. One of them is RTU and the second one is GA and I'll explain those in a moment. So the first part of next generation note taking and it's a technique and a mindset is deep filtering. So here we've got some information. We need to find one simple method to help anyone who listens increase their performance and to help them enhance their professionalism. So I'm not going to do the deep filter. I'm probably going to keep the word find one simple uh, method I'll keep. 
to help anyone who listens. Well, I know what that's about, so I don't need any of that information. Increase performance, because that's what they've got to do, so I'm going to harvest that knowledge. Um, to help them, again, I don't need that. But the other crucial bit, it's about enhancing professionalism. So when I've done that deep filter, I'm then going to do some deep processing. Now, that level of filtering, if you're just sitting listening, is really difficult. And to retain that knowledge all the way through um, an, hour, an hour's meeting or presentation or interview or coaching session, virtually impossible. Because it's going to be replaced by hundreds of more bits of information. Then the next step is deep processing. And again, this is impossible to do if you're just listening, because the key is to consciously break all that information into single units and then re consciously reconnect it together. And I'll show you what I mean. So we go find one. Simple. I'm going to abbreviate here. It just helps with speed. Method. Uh, increase performance. And what's the last bit? Enhance professionalism. Right, so that's the final bit, professionalism. Okay, so combine the deep filtering with the deep processing, this has changed everything because what I've done is I've created high value knowledge and if I do this over a period of an hour, my level of understanding real time compared with other people, it's a different ball game. Um, to give you an idea how powerful it is, let me find a, a different pen, is it's been tested by cognitive neuroscientists. And if you compare with traditional note takers, remember anyone who takes notes has an advantage over people who are listening. Real time understanding about 64%. So that's percentage RTU. Within two weeks of switching to next generation note taking, your real time understanding, because you're challenging your thinking all the time, jumps to 76%. After one year, it jumps again to 84%. And if you're dyslexic, which I am, 87%. So a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of, yeah, particularly entrepreneurs, we're dyslexic. Um, but by making this switch to next generation note taking, we can have a 23% greater real time understanding than anyone else in the room who's listening or taking traditional notes, whether on pen and paper or a laptop. The next game changer, again, I'll switch pen here, is percentage GA. And what that means is glance access. So my ability to look at this real time and engage with other people, I find that much easier to look at and glance at and use real time compared with previous generation note taking. Also, I'm able to spot like the key headings. I'm able to chunk information and see where they belong and what categories they belong under. It's just a different completely different paradigm. I'm spotting questions and ideas and able to link, just physically impossible otherwise. And how do I feel when I'm doing this? Well, I'm, I'm performing at my optimum. I'm much more professional. I feel more confident. I'm able to add more value. So I'm able to use this and go in and help CEOs in a way that probably no one else can because I can manage knowledge better than other people and other people who are helping them or advising them. So if you like this video, please press like and please do feel free to take all of this, um, you know, the concept of deep processing here or deep filtering, um, creating dynamic structuring, so structuring knowledge in a different way. Please feel free to take all of these tips and use them in your day to day work. And if you're listening, even if you use previous generation note taking and just capture key ideas, you know, key questions, key facts that gives you a lot of strength and power over other people who are just listening. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and please feel free to comment, of course, and also share with anybody who you know wants to improve performance. Could be a friend, a client, a colleague, anyone who's interested in improving performance or being more professional or feeling more confident. Thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic rest of the day. And 
down below or up above or on the left or on the right, you're going to find a link to some free tips on how to manage information more effectively and they're free to you uh, when you download.